for example, belief is something that's not really tangible. That's something that you ponder, right? Because if you can prove a belief, it's not a belief anymore. You see what I'm saying? Like, like R. Kelly, they said, R. R. Kelly said, I believe I can fly. But had we been smart, we could took R. Kelly to the highest mountain and told him to prove his belief. How far would he get? He can't fly. Right. This is what I'm saying. So it's not enough just to believe. Because the reality is, is we got a lot of believers and not enough knowers. Now, another word you use is faith. Like, faith is like... Something you can't see. Yeah, but it's it's walking down. With, but again, though, why not just open your eyes? Because it, it, if I'm walking down the street, if I'm walking down the street, hoping I don't bump into a bump, I'm falling into a hole. How far can faith take me? Faith is like blindfolding me, telling me to walk across the street and hope I don't get hit by a car. That's faith, right? All I got, all I got to do is fucking take off the blindfolds, and maybe I can navigate myself better. Across that street. So what I'm saying is we can't been we, we've been given faith on the plantation. You know, have faith that we will get out of this situation. Or we must believe that a savior will come and liberate us from this hellhole that we find ourselves in. And it's not enough. Now we speak of Moses, right? Now you said Moses wrote the five books of this so-called Bible. How did he do it? Well, Moses was an Egyptian. Moses grew up in a palace. Right, so if I'm studying Egyptian culture, well, in, 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 in the word, word, or in, 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 in Moses was Moses was Hebrew. He was being that he was a beautiful child, right? And that they wanted to, you know, what I mean, not have him go through the things they were going through. But remember in the Bible, over to Egypt. No, most the definitely. But raised but, them. but they 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 described him as an Egyptian. Okay, and, and let's just say this. Let's just say he was a Hebrew. Right. Let's just say he was a Jew, right? right? right. Let's just say that. Right. You acknowledge that he was raised in Egypt. Right. So he would have know the ways and the wisdom of the who? Egyptian, right? Because if I'm, if I'm black and the Chinese people take me and they raise me, I still be black, but I be learned in the ways of these Chinese people. I will speak Chinese, right? So what I'm saying is, it was easy for him to so-called write these books because he had the knowledge beforehand. When we talk about the ma'af and all the things that I've been trying to give you, this is what Moses was learning. Now get this, isn't it ironic that you have an Ak Moses, a Thut Moses, an Amen Moses, all in ancient Egypt? I didn't know that. All in ancient Egypt? Remember, I, um, uh, who was the... The uh the famous Moses um um uh, it wasn't Ak Moses it was one of the Moses but look them up they all got tombs they all got grave sites they all got mummified bodies proving that they lived in this one this one area in fact Moses was a name that was given much like Hajj is given to the Egyptians I mean the um the the Muslims. Moses was the name that was given to, to you when you went through the craft and you got initiated into the mysteries. It tells you in this very book, Stolen Legacy on who Moses is and how they, how they, they um, distorted Moses and, and basically plagiarized this one Moses into this characteristic Biblical Moses who has no real face, no meaning. You see what I'm saying? So what I mean is it's all a myth. And the, the reality is, is you can't derive a myth unless you have reality first. And the reality is, is they got it from us. So when we read the allegorical story of Moses, we must remind ourselves that there were real Moseses back in the day. Look, we can Google the shit. We can type it up and we can look at these faces. You see what I'm saying? So what I mean is this. We, we can't keep ourselves confined to one story and look at that story as truth. I'm trying to find his, uh, the, uh, the page right now because I know I have... Um, I have uh, highlighted it.